this video, we will see how to do layout of a building plan with a 345 rule or also known as 345 method in construction work. Before that, if you like the videos I make, please like and comment and do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video notification. So come on now, let's get started. What is a 345 rule or 345 method? According to the Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, a square plus b square is equal to c square, where a, b and c are the sides of a triangle. Also note that c is the hypotenuse of a triangle. In geometry, a hypotenuse is the longest length of a right angle triangle, the side opposite to the right angle. Let us understand the above formula with the help of an example. Suppose if the side xy is equal to 3 feet and side yz is equal to 4 feet, then we can write side xz square is equal to xy square plus yz square. That is xz is equal to under root of xy square plus yz square. Now substituting the values of xy and yz in the above equation, we get xz is equal to under root of 3 square plus 4 square which can be written as xz is equal to under root of 3 square which becomes 9 and 4 square which becomes 16. xz is equal to under root of 25 which is equal to 5 feet. Now let us observe how we can use this method to do a layout in construction work. How to do a layout in a building plan with 3 for 5 rule. Let us consider a building with corners L, M, N, O where having 4 walls L, M, M, N, N O N O L. To make the junction point M of a wall at a right angle, let us measure the mark 3 feet on the side L M and 4 feet on the side M N. Before constructing these walls, now we have to adjust the alignment of these sides until we get the length of X Y as 5 feet. This procedure makes the wall corners of the building at a right angle to each other. A similar step has to be followed to all the four walls of the building to make their corners at a right angle to each other. Where we can use 345 rule in the construction work. This 345 rule can be applied to the layout of all types of structures like residential building, commercial building, underground tanks, etc. If the corners of the side or plot is perpendicular to each other, you can use this method to complete the layout work. All you need is a measuring tape and a line out string. Now, Another question can arise in the mind. What should be the unit of 345 method? You can use any unit of measurement in this 345 rule. Suppose if you measure the sides in meter like 3 meters and 4 meter length, the height should be measured for 5 meters length. Similarly, for 3 feet and 4 feet measurement, the hypotenuse becomes 5 feet. So can we measure the length and multiples of 3, 4, 5 method? Yes. As you can observe the drawing, if you measure 6 feet and 8 feet along the sides, the hypotenuse should be measured for 10 feet length. Similarly, by multiplying 3, 4, 5 by 3, we can use the measurement 9 feet, 12 feet and 15 feet to carry out the layout. Can we take any other measurements to make the corners at right angle? And the answer is yes. As you can observe in the drawing, the two sides of the building are 10 feet and 13 feet in length. Here you have to calculate the hypotenuse for any convenient length you have taken by calculating the diagonal of the building L, M, N, O. You can fix all the corners at right angles easily. We can calculate the length L, N by using the Pythagoras theorem. Here L, N and M, O is equal to 16.4 feet. Hence, in the above video, we learned how to do the layout of a building plan with a 3, 4, 5 rule. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and please do comment and share and don't forget to subscribe the channel for the latest video notification. Thanks for watching.